Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be making fried green tomatoes. They're going to be air fryer fried green tomatoes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients. You're also going to need um, either three compartments for dredging as well. So you're gonna need one for flour, one for your egg wash, and one for your breadcrumbs cornmeal mixture. So I have here three green tomatoes. These are fresh from the garden here. Um, I've got uh, egg. I've got my non-fat dry milk. I'm not using buttermilk. Please don't come for me. Uh, <laughs> I got flour. Use what resources you have. I have adobo, goya, black pepper. I have cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, panko breadcrumbs. Um, you can use any seasonings you like. Paprika, garlic, and onion. I'm not going to use anything cayenne-wise in here because Gary doesn't like cayenne. So if you want to put cayenne pepper in your stuff, if you want to put 50 seasonings in your stuff, have at her. I'm just going to share this with y'all. All right, so let's get cut. Let's get going because these uh, green tomatoes got to sit with salt. Okay, y'all, so this is how I do it. I know there's several, and I mean, when you peruse the internet, there's several videos of uh, green tomato recipes. I'm just coring this guy out. I'm using every bit of my resources with this tomato. So you gotta cut it about a quarter inch, about a quarter inch thick. And so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm not going to hold you through the entire process of me cutting these tomatoes. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay out on your counter or whatever you want. Uh, I have a cutting board underneath here. Um, I have paper towel laid out. We're going to lay these out in a single layer. We're going to sprinkle each side with salt. We're going to let that set there like that for 30 minutes to draw the moisture out. And so here you go. And I'm going to finish the rest and I'll come back with the salting step. All right, y'all. So I'm going to lay these out where I want them to be. And if they're a little red like this, that'll be fine. It's just, it's, it's October... The guy that lived here, I'm not going to mention his name, but he was an older gentleman. He passed away, and the garden is just sitting, and nobody's dealing with it. His son said, you guys just help yourselves. So the community here at the apartments that I'm at, um, some of us have been utilizing the garden. And I thought, well, since there's snow in our future well, why not go ahead and pull some tomatoes and make some fried green tomatoes I know typically you use buttermilk um, I don't have buttermilk I'm just gonna use the resources I have here so as you've seen I did the one side Oh, we're going to do this other side. And even though the little waxy side what we're doing is we're pulling the moisture out. And I'm going to do them in my air fryer. That's where I've I've liked doing them because I don't know. It's a healthier version. <laughs> being fried <laughs> so anyways if you don't have buttermilk you guys you can use regular milk if you don't want to do it with a dairy if you want to make it completely vegan you surely can 
Um, there's many different ways of making fried green tomatoes. Like I said, there's a lot of recipes on Google, on YouTube, but I just thought I'd share this recipe with you guys today. So I'm going to sit this for 30 minutes, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it's been 30 minutes, so what we're going to do is we're going to dab these guys off. They have, oh, <laughs> uh, the, um, paper towel underneath definitely has absorbed a lot of moisture. So that's the next step you want to do. And, um, let's make some dredging stations. Okay, you guys, I have about, um, a cup, a little over a cup of just all purpose flour. Here is, um, equal parts of, um, the cornmeal and the breadcrumbs and in this dredging station here is going to be my egg wash so I'm gonna get this prepared and we'll come back for seasoning all right you guys I'm gonna use the adobo all-purpose seasoning so everybody is gonna get the same seasonings throughout Next, I'm going to be using garlic powder. And be generous with your seasonings. So even, I season that as well. So everybody's getting seasonings. Next, paprika. Everybody's going to get well seasoned. Onion powder. And pepper. Do not add salt because the adobo has salt. If you don't have issues with salt, add more salt. We're going to get everything incorporated. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my air fryer preheated at 400 degrees. With my air fryer, I think the last time I put in there, depending on the size, four for sure, possibly five uh, tomatoes. All right, so I'll come back once the air fryer is preheated. Okay, y'all, so first what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna spritz the bottom. Okay, that's what I do. Then, <laughs> we're gonna move everything around graciously. Um, need to get that up there a little bit better. We'll start our dredging. So we'll start over here, shake off the excess. Shake off the excess. get over here into our panko and press that in there you press that in there there you go then I'm gonna put it in my air fryer I'm gonna do three four no I'm gonna do about four more like that I'm going to spray the tops, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. We're 
we're going to give everybody a little spritz right here. We're going to go ahead, put her into the air fryer. Um, I know it says 20 minutes. It's not going to take 20 minutes. It's probably going to take half that time. I'll probably go about maybe five minutes one side, come over, turn them over, re-spritz, let them go for another five, um, but I'll show you the process. Okay, y'all, I flipped them. I'm going to give them another squirt on this side. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put it back in there. For another about another five minutes, we want them crunchy. And there you guys have it. Look at that. You can make, you can serve it with any kind of sauce you like. You can make a remoulade sauce, a remoulade, remoulade sauce. You can use any kind of dipping sauce you prefer. Um, um, tonight I'm going to be using Dean's Dill Pickle Sauce. I think that would pair well with it. Or I also have blue cheese. You can, like I said, you can pair with anything you like. So I appreciate y'all. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next video, take care. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day. They are delicious. Trust me on that. Have a wonderful day, y'all.